Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Connect 360 Presents The People's Cast. I am King Bear in the building. Michelle K. Pretty P. Oh, she done jumped. And only heavy duty cutie. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, um, quick fast on the draw, but we have a special guest this week. And what was your name again, my dear? Pretty P. Pretty P's in the building. And she's going to rock with us and see how she does. And ladies and gentlemen, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And uh, we're going to get right to it. We got a pretty a pretty good show. You know, we're going to learn some things and we're going to do some things. So, ladies, ladies this time. And gentlemen, y'all ready to do it? Yeah, let's do it. All right, without further ado, let's get to it. And we give it back to you, the people. Do married men, do married men like still look at other women? Think? Yeah. Hell yeah. Oh no, see. You couldn't be mad at that. Yeah. You, you're gonna look yeah, at other right. men. You probably it's just the level of lust of how they're doing it and the level of disrespect. Right. No, I feel like that's women wisdom are talking. Different. Listen. That's wisdom. <laughs> Listen. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> She yeah. she's literally telling you how to avoid a hell of a lot of arguments going down the line. Because, it because you can't get mad for him just looking. Now, if he over there like, oh, my God, in your face, that's a different story. But trust me, they going to yeah, look. Disrespect. They just going to look because you will look. I can't handle it. But would I'm, you look at... No. Like, I'm. if I have a man, I'm obsessed with my man. Like, I'm going to look at him. Like, oh, that's for the everybody track. else yeah, becomes that. like... That's because you young. Because you're thinking that's that, but love. I think that's great, bro. You, you, you couldn't help but to notice somebody else. They might not be like something you want to bring home, but you couldn't help but all these men out here. But pretty P, what's your type? Men, like, there's not a lot to look at. What's your type? What's your type, Pretty P? Like, when it comes to men. Um, like physically. But, physically. Yeah, what are you looking for? Tall. Mm hmm. I don't like facial hair. Not okay. Really. It's like scratchy. So. Gotcha. Light skin um, or dark skin? Dark it's, skin and okay. brown skins. Long hair. Um, short, clean yeah, I cut. Like dreads. I like dreads. I like waves. I don't care about the hair for real. Like okay. the little box top they be doing or whatever. All right. Muscular? <laughs> uh, that also doesn't matter. I like big boys and I like skinny boys too. So. Okay. Yes! <laughs> 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 yeah. She said tall, dude. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He said the chair up higher. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah, certain things I'm picky about, though, like you can't be hard to look at because I do like very attractive men. Like, okay. Yeah. They I'm, smell good? You like them when they smell yeah, good? I like good hygiene. Yeah. Okay. So you don't you mouth. don't want the dude to smell like butter well, they all their teeth in their mouth. Yeah. You sound like an old lady. I love a man with all the teeth no. in the mouth. Oh Jesus! No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, there do be young men. Like, right, they teeth be messed, messed up and they up. young. And I'm like, it's okay to fuck. <laughs> <laughs> you sound like an old lady. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm telling you, no. Oh my God, well, they God. got the gold in their mouth. <laughs> And oh. it's like, they have an implant yeah, in there, yeah. and it's all black, and you got these shiny teeth, and it don't even match your mouth. Oh, yeah. yeah. And I also like really like masculine men. I don't like no men, but not even an ounce of feminine, like in them, like. Well, CJ's off. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> no, I ain't gonna say that. I ain't gonna. With his fat old. <laughs> <laughs> Cinnamon buns. Uh, <laughs> Cinnamon buns. Cinnamon buns. <laughs> Cinnamon buns is back in the That's bed. That's what happens because he's not here with the joke on mm -hmm. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Should have been here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's right. Okay. So the point I was trying to get at. Okay. So say you're with somebody who is not exactly the ideal man for you as far as the looks. He's attractive. He's a little bit shorter. He might be like 5'10". 
ten, almost five eleven. Okay. He treats you great. Okay. You love the way he treats you. Okay. Got the complexion down. You know, he got some he got some dreads or whatever, you know. And you like looking at him. He, he's he's nice to look at. But he has a turtleneck. See, no, see, you try to fuck it up. Stop it. Stop it. <laughs> okay, so you got this, man. And y'all been together for, y'all been together for two, two years or so, right? And, and y'all are good. Y'all are good. Um, but, you know, you're in relationships. Y'all argue sometimes. And you have good days. You have bad days. Stuff like that. And then you just happen to go to a grocery store. And this six foot five perfect Adonis walks past you and he got on the cologne that just you splash. Just ooh, what the <laughs> fuck was that? Oh my God. You telling me right now you not going to look because you're infatuated with your guy you've been with. He's six four now and he stepped to you. Like six, four, six, five, six, hell, six, 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 seven. Beautiful. Yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna look, I'm gonna look. Got him. We fucking got him. <laughs> I'm actually. Exactly. <laughs> I, I, might to go, I might like creep around him just to be. <laughs> no, listen, listen. Just to be. Whoa, no, no, no. I'm not, I'm not taking this too far, but I'm gonna like, just stand next to him a little bit, fantasize if I was with him, and then I'm gonna leave. <laughs> Stop it. Get some help. And you know what you're going to see? You're going to think that's what you did, but he's going to look over at you and you're going to be picking up the zucchini going. <laughs> he going to be blushing. Uh -uh, no. Yeah, you are. That's too much. I'm going to make it home. Right? <laughs> you know, I'm going to make it home. I'm going to make a little 5'9 man. Right? You know, like, nah, he just better not talk to me because I might fall. <laughs> you gonna go home and be like, I don't even want this one no more. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna be very mad. Like, like, man, now you're gonna be looking at your man like, uh huh. Oh, it might piss me. Wait it? <laughs> yeah, that's actually hard because yeah. I've been in like, a long relationship. Uh -huh. And I'm looking at other dudes and I'm like, wow. Mm. <laughs> like, wow. Exactly. You it's see how so you changed so up? So it's so Yeah, it's but so it's like. Marriage is different. That's like commitment. It's not. No. It's, it's it not. It should be, but... Mm, you know when you're married? Here, here, and here. Mm. Yep. That's it. Yeah. That's all not marriage is. there. <laughs> it's not. Come along real quick and yeah. everything yeah. goes left. Now, if this is strong mm -hmm. and this is strong, that yeah. stops this. Yeah. But yes. nothing... Stops these. Yeah, but in nothing. Oh no, I'm definitely not cheating on my husband. Well, nobody well, said that. Cheating. Yeah, nobody cheating. said no. that. It's just nobody said that. Nobody brought up cheating. We just said, look, mm -hmm. and you can't help it. You can't. Your yeah. eyes see stuff that attracts you. It, it's going to happen. It is. Yeah. And you, there's nothing you could do to stop it. There's nothing because you're gonna always have yep. a type, yeah. and. The she way God it. did things, there's always going to be something out there that's better than what you got at home. Yeah. Always. Correct. It doesn't Correct. mean you want to give up what you got at home. It's just, damn. Mm -hmm. Now, maybe that damn that you saw, the grass might not be greener. You might get over there and then, mm -hmm. you know, you cheat and you get home and he's like, mm -hmm. or, <coughs> or he ain't got no money or he's an yeah. absolute asshole. Yeah. He beating on you all yeah. types of other stuff. He stole your identity. Yeah. Right. I mean, it could be. <laughs> <laughs> right. You know, you you wake up like, oh my God, he is so much better. And you look over the corner, he putting on your panties and shit. <laughs> he's yeah. strolling around. He's yeah. like, oh girl, I'm keeping these. Yeah. Like, you be like, wait a minute, what did I do? Yeah. So, I mean, yeah. so, yeah, nobody's going that far to say just because you look, you cheated. Right. But, I mean, you can't help it. No, I don't think looking is cheating. I just right. think, like, I, I don't like it. I wouldn't want to look Spanish over Spanish. and see my husband like looking at a girl with big you boobs. Like, right. right. What are you doing? He probably right. wouldn't be so. It's going to happen. Obvious sometimes, <laughs> but you can kind of sense it. But I just tell people don't take it personally because, you know, it's just him just looking. They're just going to look. Yeah, what that is called is oogling. 
And I have a great story yeah. about oogling. Oh my God. <laughs> I got a great long, story about long oogling. Long story short. Long story short. Yeah, long story short. Somebody that we all happen to know used to get on me about looking and stuff. And I don't like you oogling over none of these bitches out here. You oogling, oogling. And then she happened to catch her kryptonite. Mm. I mean, this brother was taller than me. He had to be like 6'8. <laughs> 6'8, eight. Eight, like raw, <laughs> cut. And braid like braids going all the way down his back. This nigga looked like he just stepped out of somebody's physical training video. <laughs> and we in Walmart and she talking to me and she's like, Yeah, we need to get some. So I turn and I don't see him at first. I'm looking at her while she's picking up stuff and she's talking to me. And she's like, Yeah, so we gotta get some. And then I see her look and then look up and she's like, and do some. <laughs> Um, yeah, that's I, really how it is. I, 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 <laughs> and I'm like, what the? I look up and it's a shadow over me. And I'm not used to people being higher than me. I look up, I'm like, damn, that's a big sexy ass dude. And then I turn, I'm like, oh, gotcha, bitch. <laughs> oh, <laughs> and then she, oh, she yeah. pulled the camera hard. No, 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 no. Oh, no. No, 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 no. I said, like, no, you no, oogling. You are oogling. She has all rights to if you already been oogling. I'm oogling too. But that's the thing. I didn't care. Because I'm like, I know what eyes do. Mm -hmm. But see, I had to prove the point. Right. Because what she I tried to tell me yeah. is, I don't oogle. Mm -hmm. I don't ever do that. Yeah. But then yeah. God was like, watch show. this. <laughs> <laughs> God said, hold my beer. It's going to be warm. Yep. They're going to make me just got him. What did you say? And forever, yeah. ever, he is known as Mr. Walmart. Oh, my God. <laughs> that's and crazy. that's all I do. I bring, hey, Mr. Walmart, she, you still bring it up that shit? <laughs> yep, I got my card. I'm good. <laughs> so, it happens, you know. And like I said, I was not offended. It didn't bother me at all. I was, asked, I was tickled by it. Because it's like, now you see, you know, because yeah. you... Like, she used to get so mad at me. We could go to Six Flags or something, and a big booty in, 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 in tight pants walk by, and then my eye just go, boom. And then I look over here, and she... <laughs> no. And I'm like... Because why do you have to do nigga. it with me? Like, why can't you just wait till you on your own to do all that looking? Because cause Mr. Walmart. Because Mr. Walmart. That's why. It's not because realistic. the booty don't wait until I'm alone. Oh, Just like Mr. Right. Walmart ain't wait till she was alone. Mr. Way. Walmart came and walked right behind me. Mm -hmm. And she was like, I'm the, I, 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 <laughs> mm -hmm. I, 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 gotcha. Gotcha. So, you know, eyes, eyes are not married. They're not. Mm -hmm. Eyes yeah. are not married. Unfortunately, it's they're an not. animal instinct in the, us men. You know, it's in everybody. It's not just men. Now, men look a hell of a lot more. Mm -hmm. But, right. I mean, if something attracts your eye, you gonna look. Yeah. So you, can, you can't get mad at somebody for looking. Mm -hmm. Now, once the look turns into anything else, that's where the disrespect starts. If Correct. it turns into, and you all of a sudden, your man's like, God damn. Yeah. And then he be like, <laughs> hey, man, I gotta go to the bathroom. And then he had no, right. now. You know, now you cut up. Yeah. Now you got to make a scene. But if he's like, jeez. And then he walks right back with you and y'all walk about and nothing else is mentioned. Wh wh what are you going to ruin the day and get mad for? Because why? It's not like, mentioned, but you're thinking about it. He just happened to see. Okay, that, you have to look at me all day. He, he did. Okay. Not, That's he not realistic. Her. Again, Mr. Walmart. <laughs> so would I have been in my rights to say, well, if you want him, go over there with him? She just happened to see. I'd be single right now if I'd have said that she. <laughs> She'd be like, for real? I'm like, oh, damn, man. What the fuck did I just do? <laughs> that nigga was big as hell. Wait a minute. <laughs> I might have lost a good one fucking around saying some dumb shit. No, nah, but no, you can't. You can't. I know you're young and you're still full of that fire and that piss and vinegar and you. But keep on living. You'll get up to where we at. A lot of energy. Yeah. A lot of energy. It's so much energy to do that. Man. Yep. To hold that anger over that. Because when you guys are younger, like, 
you can hold that for days and weeks. Mm-hmm. Why? Yeah. Why? <laughs> I be that mad What's every day, current? just looking at him. Right. <laughs> And that bro no, didn't even know he and looked. Look, and look, the next day he up like, whoo, whoo, whoo. <laughs> Y'all know about his minute. You sitting over there mad, and he is not even thinking about that until you bring it back up to him again. And then right. it's going to be another argument because he's like, man, he done forgot about the girl. You didn't. Right. Okay, well, and now you're even madder because right. he don't remember that right. you met. And then you want to let him know to remember her because you're going to describe, oh, you remember that bitch? That, that bitch. bitch. That bitch. <laughs> <laughs> and stuff like that. Oh, now you don't know. And he's like... What? <laughs> <laughs> and so, yeah, you, we we as women can do a lot of damage mentally to ourselves over unnecessary things because it could be a little insecurity or it's just not like if you trust yourself, I wouldn't care what that man do because I know me and if he want to be that dumb, he'll fall. But I'm not going to lose myself and my sleep over somebody that, yeah. you know. Preach, Michelle okay. Okay, God, so I have another question. When you're dating, what's cheating when you're dating? What's considered cheating? Not marriage, just dating. Ask her. Don't ask a dude. Because every dude's going to say, penetration. <laughs> Anything short of that is not cheating. Because we're dumb like that. But go ahead. Yeah, I think that's very really true. <laughs> Men do that. Because we don't attach emotion to it. So we, we're the end of when it comes to that. That's the thing we, we have to uh, explain to this young lady. She, she she probably haven't heard our podcast about, you know, emotions, you know, men versus women. Mm-hmm. You know, for us, it's all, it, 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 it's no emotion. What, if, if we say we cheat, it's no emotion connection. It's like, oh man, girl, I love you. I'm going to leave you. It's all about just smashing. Thank you very much. Have a good day. I'm going back home. For women, it's more like, oh man, there gotta be some sort of connection for me to, you know, be able to sleep with this person, right? And I may like them somehow, right? Men are not like that. We're just about stick it, quit it, and we out. Yeah, no, but the sticking is still cheating. Literally, what my generation is about, like all the men, they just, oh yeah, they don't care about emotions. They just want to get it exactly. over with and get you going. Right? That's not your generation. That's all men. Oh, they, that's all. That's all. Yeah. Guys. That's how we think oh, yeah. until. Yeah. A woman tries to think that way, then we get fucking butt hurt real quick. How could you? You're a whore. <laughs> let a let a woman turn around and be like, "Man, I just wanted some different day." That is so. <gasps> 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 what? Email left forty dollars on my nightstand. I felt dirty. I said, "Wait a minute. Wait, wait a minute." <laughs> 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 Once again, the heavy dutyisms. Like I don't know where he go with it, but okay. <laughs> I thought I thought it was a real date, but you stay like oh. one of my next stand. I was like, my well, feelings got hurt. Well, at least you got I want more than four. But it might not have been what you wanted, but I don't know. Um, cheating. It's I'm really text not message the one to answer that one. Yeah, is texting cheating? No, I think. What I about think, sexting? I, I think that's overrated. I think what about nudes? That's still overrated because to me, that's, that's that's all overrated because videos or some are just pictures. Yeah, it's, pictures, pictures or videos. Pictures is not the video. You go to your man's phone and it's a big old hairy muff in his. <laughs> It it's a vagina that ain't yours. Ain't, it, I don't know. It's a vagina ain't yours. Is he and cheating? Now nah, he just like maybe like certain pictures or something. I don't know, but I wouldn't see. I'm not. I don't go through phones. I right. just don't do certain things to just That's trigger smart. me. If you just gonna, if you're looking for it, you're gonna find it. And then when you find Correct. it, you're gonna be mad. And then you're not gonna leave him. You just gonna but argue with him forever. Find it if you don't look for it. Aha! <laughs> Don't live with it! Oh, but I need to know. <laughs> you, you but I got learn, to know. The hard right, way. But what is, yeah. <laughs> but what no, is I've already learned the hard way. When I was in a relationship, um, I just went through um, my ex's phone and like, he was texting a girl that lived in Texas and they were sending each other nudes and stuff and I'm like, I can't accept this. That's why I'm asking y'all. Like, I can't accept it. So you, you have boundaries. Yeah, right? I feel like he cheated. I feel like he cheated. Because if I would have did that, 
Oh, all hell with a bro glue. Men are different. Men is a little different. Here's the question. Did you did you ever had that conversation with him when you first started dating him? Like, hey, if I catch, you know, you chatting yeah, with someone and sending you. Yeah, because he do. was the type to have that conversation with me. Like, you can't do this, you can't do that, you can't oh, do this. He said I rude. Yeah. But didn't follow him And himself. then right. broke the rules. So mm-hmm. now I'm like, okay. That's why yeah, he set the rules. Yeah. <laughs> <'Cause> <laughs> he was like, okay. <laughs> yeah, he was setting his own rules against yeah. himself for you. Yeah, no. He's like, okay, um, you can't be doing this, this, and this, because I do that, and I know how that would feel. Right. So, so yeah, that, so I never that's a trifling ass dude. And then I go through you your learn. phone, and you're doing it. I'm like, what? Okay. So, mm-hmm. yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. yeah. Is that cheating? Mm. Mm-hmm. Emotional Mentally, cheating. Yeah, emotional cheating. What, what, what women call it. I don't know. I got to go with Pretty P on this one. Only because now in normal situations I wouldn't call that or consider it cheating, but when somebody establishes the rule against you, oh well, yeah, okay. and then they break it exactly by by the essence of the the term, they're cheating on their own rule. Yeah. So by definition, you I are agree. cheating. But he probably wasn't setting yes. the rules like that. He was just setting boundaries for her not to cross. Right, he but then he to, crossed yeah, them. But he wasn't setting them for him. He didn't care. You think he cared? No. He he no, care. fuck that. You right. can't set no boundaries for me right. and they don't work for you. Right. But, <laughs> but that's how y'all don't just do it. You think you gonna set boundaries and he wasn't gonna, he was gonna, did you set boundaries for him? I mean, no, like, See, it was just so basic things, he, like, don't cheat. Like, don't cheat. That was just basic things. Okay. That's a red flag right there. <laughs> right. Once he gave that's me boundaries, I'm already gonna be like, First of all, I'm not a child. Come on, son. You're not gonna give me boundaries. You're not gonna tell me what and what not to do. We're adults here. Well, I'm not gonna do that. I'm I 17, so. I wouldn't need this. You know. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't be taking. You still could have said it because you know yeah, at that I, age y'all be saying that. I ain't, I'm grown. Right. right. I'm trying to listen to you, but now once they start setting boundaries like that, no, I I would definitely be kind of looking a little side eyed at them for a minute because that's yeah. Why, then when I used to do rules? things like that, like text a boy, because you know I used to get a little distracted and text like coworker or something like that, and then he would go crazy, like just lose it, like feelings hurt, crying, it. falling that's out. That's that's another red flag right there. <laughs> mm-hmm. I'm like, okay, yeah, cause he, we didn't even text or anything. Like, just, but what? But he's probably doing the same thing, but going further. But he's yeah. thinking that this is what you're doing. Yeah. See that? So, yeah, yeah. His excuse was like, They're "Oh, she lives in Texas." Like, like, okay, you just told me not to do it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because he on that criminal. Yeah. Nah, mm-hmm. I'm with you on this one there, pretty big. Because like. Don't establish a rule for me because yeah. I'm big on what's good for the goose is good for the gander. If you come out the mouth and you set a rule, you better abide by that same exactly. fucking rule. That should be understand completely across the table. Yeah. If yeah. you don't want to do it, don't don't try to hold me to that yeah. shit. It, don't, don't do it. Because it's going to be bad. Exactly. Exactly. Because I'm... Uh, what are you telling? Oh, I'm coming. Bruh, bruh. You're going to be... You said this. You yeah. set this precedent. So, and you gonna break it? Oh, oh, hell is breaking yeah. loose. Yeah. Yeah. Ooh. I've had that argument over little shit. Like, hold on. You said no no shoes on the motherfucking carpet. You said that. Why the fuck you got on shoes on the carpet? Like, yeah. you know what I'm saying? I'm ready to go. Oh <laughs> I'm ready to go. Yeah. So you talk about some cheating shit? Oh, yeah. I'm going ape shit over some dumb shit like that. Don't set no rules on me and then yeah, break them. Yeah. Just don't set rules on me anyway. Like you can set boundaries, but not rules. You can just say, well, you know, if we're gonna have this a, a monogamous relationship, or mm-hmm. we're just gonna be out here just as friends, and you can see, you know, friends will benefit. But don't come in telling me what you don't want me to be doing because I'm very stubborn. I'm very hard headed, <laughs> and I don't set rules. So don't give me rules. I know my role and mm-hmm. I know my position, mm-hmm. but don't tell me what I need to be doing in either one of them. Yeah, but so. if you give me a rule and you break it and I find out you broke it, I'm, I'm not going to turn up on you. I'm going to already be thinking of ways to get back yeah. at you because Cut you. I got to do what you did so mm-hmm. I can show you yeah. that we both can do it. <laughs> <laughs> That's how you end up on the grandma's steps, dog. You ain't gambling. Because some of these days, woohoo, 
<laughs> they won't remember their part. They just chop uh-huh. you up and put you under the no, steps. No, then that's nope. when I'm going crazy. No. Uh, and you so, catch me doing what I do now, we can turn up together. That's an STD but. right there. <laughs> <laughs> Don't do it. Can, can you feel the energy of youth? Can you feel it? It's yeah. like, yeah, well, that's what. Oh, yeah. Yeah. You got so much to I remember. Learn. I remember them days. I just got tired. I like, I need to go take a nap. <laughs> yeah. Ooh, oh, no. I got tired just, just hearing her just talk. This is. Yeah. Ooh, I remember that energy. Oh, yeah. I ain't got it no more. No. I ain't got it. <laughs> and she'll be. 20-something years from now, she's going to be sitting there saying, man, I remember that podcast. No, y'all are actually like, scaring me, y'all. I feel like y'all just all dried out. Like, <laughs> <laughs> Well, according to you, 27 is really old. She said, I'm making it worse. She said, y'all act like y'all all dry out. Oh, my God. I have mm-hmm. yet to hear that. We a bunch of like, Egyptian nothing, mummies in here, though. that could get you to, like, come out of your character? Of yeah. course. Okay. Right. Of course. But, but yeah. it's it's going to be based but, on our ages. Things, <laughs> you know, I'm scared. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I, like, I have a... My temper just is on a different that's level. That's crazy. So. I was just fighting in the street with my friend and her boyfriend. <laughs> <laughs> two days ago. Yeah, that's two, days ago. <laughs> yeah. two days ago. Two days ago. Yeah. That's why I got guns in every every, yeah. every floor in the house, though. I, I ain't got the to be fighting. I think you did background checks, bro. <laughs> <laughs> you know what my background check was? People come up, hey, I saw your podcast. Can I be on it? <laughs> Fuck yeah. That was really it. Yeah, that's the end of the story. Work? You, for real? You want to hang out with us? You already know? You seen it? You know what we do? Okay. Yeah. Come on. Two days ago, you out there fighting the street. Yeah. And that wasn't even my relationship. That's my friend. But it's like, I see energy in him. Like, he was like pulling her hair. And then that's triggered me. So I just started like hitting him. And we was just in the street fighting. Like, I don't know. I think the last time I fought, I was about 30. Really? That's pretty like. Oh, to be fighting. What? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Just just but, just but, no, just it's, it's just no limitation on this shoot. So, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just just so. Here, got the, <laughs> pick out the Vaseline, Michelle. <laughs> <laughs> I show you no. old. <laughs> She might have to struggle me first. But I just don't see. <laughs> what you say? He said you're going to have to stretch first. <laughs> so, so, <laughs> wait till I get these old bleeps. Wait. Don't get that little. Hold on. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> my you about to get. I'm, I'm Hold on. Old. Let me stretch these deltoids. Look. <laughs> <laughs> try and crack, get no cramps. For real. Mm-mm. Oh my no. God. Yeah, oh, I cool. admire youth. Oh, you know, it's, it was fun back in the day. I tell you, you be out there fighting two days later. You see this? Mm-hmm. And y'all remember CJ like a few weeks ago? <laughs> this nigga, oh, this nigga said he he rolled over oh, and had his baby on his arm. Oh my! God. And his arm was fucked up for like three weeks. Oh my god! He was in here. It was. <laughs> Hold on, hold on, for real. No lie. He said, yeah, man, I was sleeping, and then my, my baby almost rolled off the bed, so I grabbed him, and I put him on my arm, and I slept like that. pre P, he was in here for three weeks straight. But, uh, <laughs> like, every time he laughed, he was like, uh. Uh-huh. <laughs> pretty that, P, pretty P. Hmm? Mind you, he trained with Shifu. <laughs> he's a oh he trains with what? With Shifu. He, he, he's a Kung Fu master. Oh, wow. No. Yes, sir. He, he's a Kung That's Fu terrible. master. He's a, <laughs> he's a Kung Fu master. He had 14 black belts. And, <laughs> and, and, and he catches baby, bullets in his baby, teeth. And a baby took him out. So the baby yeah. took him out. Uh-uh. Like, the baby didn't even hit him. The baby just <laughs> rolled over. And he put the baby on his arm. And three weeks later, he's like, man, I think I got to go to the hospital. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> he was hurting. He was so hurt. Like every time he laughed, he was like, <laughs> "Hit on, Cody." He was like, "Oh man, oh no, oh no." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so dirty. Oh, this is true. He was out of 
it. He was out of it. Three weeks. Three weeks. Every every recording for three weeks where he laughed. He, <laughs> he leaned in and grabbing his arm for three weeks. <laughs> he used to take him. It used to take him twenty five minutes to put his sweatpants on. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. Yeah, that, those are great episodes. Michelle K told him one day he had a fat old booty. This didn't start. He started wearing gray sweatpants oh and coming gosh. in here and Wait, leaning his chair. No, that was not. He started so leaning his chair day. towards her. He's like, <laughs> he started doing the podcast like this. <laughs> yeah. He's, no, he's no, like, he yeah. The police were coming out the chair on the he, side. <laughs> <laughs> he do his intro. He be like, comedian sitting bun showers. <laughs> <laughs> you don't like nigga? Don't be missing no shows. <laughs> no excuses. <laughs> you know how it goes. You miss a show, you gonna catch these jokes. Mm. Mm. Oh my god. Okay. Yeah. Um. Wow. Any other questions? Since we, since we old. <laughs> Jesus. No, I don't even like. I'm scared now. I was fighting in the street two days ago. And I'm probably going to go fight tonight. <laughs> you think it lined up now? I'll be out of here in 30 minutes. <laughs> like, same. No. Wow. Marriage, yeah. That's really what I had questions about. Outstanding. It's scary. Oh, okay. come is. back to the show because uh, we, we have a lot to share with you. Yeah, as long as you embrace it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, you have been accepted. We accept the one of us. You look out for one of us. We accept the one of us. A younger one of us, but <laughs> one of us from a long ass time ago. <laughs> I do have a question, actually. What's up? What's the quickest way to get like an older guy to spend money on if you're a younger girl? Without doing all the extra. No, it ain't gonna happen. <laughs> you gotta give it some sugar. You gotta find that. Bat your eyes, <laughs> call him daddy, and say you like his car. Yep. And, and rob on him a little bit. You know what I mean? <laughs> press on him a little bit. That's all. Yeah, because I'm not that. I don't. That's I'm how. Not that. That's how. Bat your eyes, Adam. Bat your Bat your eyes, at him. Bat your eyes at him. Call him daddy and tell him you like his car. I shouldn't even be telling you. I'm <laughs> setting up a whole sugar daddy situation like right there. <laughs> but that's that's it. You go, you ooh, daddy, ooh, okay. I, you gotta watch I, I see you in that Cadillac, daddy. daddy. I like you your car. And he be like, oh, you like that, girl? You like that? You, what about these keys? You like that, keys? Got it. Yeah. 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 You like that car? Yeah. You like that car? Yeah. 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 Yeah.
You still got a long way to go. It's just you're not even halfway. Mm-mm. Um, at least I'm not me. I'm still not halfway. Right. I don't give a fuck. I don't want to ask this question still, but <laughs> what? <laughs> what? You about to get a <laughs> gut punch? You about to get a I gut know, punch? Right? She gonna punch you right in your I stomach know, right there. I'm just gonna get up and walk out. <laughs> <laughs> The age limit that you're saying is too old. Like, like for me to say, ew, like, um, <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh-huh. um, I'm going to be realistic, like, 48 and above. That's like, if I look at a man who's 48, I'm like, yeah. Right. Okay. Right. <laughs> okay. I'll take, I'll take that number. Yeah. Like, I could have sworn she was going to say like 35. <laughs> no, 35 is like middle old. That's like you getting up there, like you pushing 40. I don't know. Middle old. It's crazy. Yeah. Let me see. 35. That's a, that's still a millennial. Yeah. Well. That's how old we are. That's not even a Gen X. Gen X is the last Gen Xs were born in 1980. And they're already 40 plus. Like, my little brother is the last age of the Gen Xs. He was born in 1980. And he's 44. So, yeah. So, <laughs> damn. So, that's a millennial, dude. Yeah, that's she's true. like, yeah, she's on some no millennials is old. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, I can't be with a 30 year old. <laughs> wow. Well, fair enough. But I fair want that my daughter date somebody old. Yeah. I would consider that, <laughs> not saying like that, but at 22 or 20. You couldn't be anywhere over 30, 28 or something like that to talk to my daughter. I would have to see you. Even to this day, she will make sure that I see them and figure out how old that because you, you're not doing that. You're not going to. And then you have a lot of kids. I'm, I, she don't date people with a lot of kids. What if you are Kelly? Like he out here dressing like your daughter. Hmm. <laughs> not that hold on hold on not that he's like peeing on your daughter or no shit like that but he's you know because R. Kelly used to he that's how he would get him he dressed like the younger ones so he out here got the got the just for me and he yeah, he coloring the beard you know and he got on his skinny jeans and he got his hat to the back no you know there's literally guys that do that like, right right the last dude I was talking about that was 27 you would have thought he was at least 21 like Mm-mm. because he I, I, just fits in with but see that's when i'm about to punch her in her face man she keeps saying this 27. <laughs> the last old ass dude that i fuck with he was like 27. he used to do that he used to try to dress young and he was 27. like will you stop that yeah. <laughs> no, it's not mine. i thought he was like my age i don't know yeah, no my daughter i see them and i pay you know you can hear the maturity in their voices and stuff like that but no i definitely pay attention when it comes to um the ages of the people she's dating so mm-mm, i don't know okay that ain't even oh. you gonna get caught you gonna get caught it's gonna be some old ass dude that gonna slip one in on you dog man your daughter gonna bring home a 42 with this day. You gonna be like, oh man, I promise. He gonna have one of the Versace shades. He gonna hate and, to. He gonna and you hate ain't gonna see him coming, boy. No, I might not, but it'll end. <laughs> <laughs> I, I might not, not see the beginning, that. but I'm gonna see the yeah, ending. This ain't gonna last long. I promise you that. <laughs> Sooner or later, that 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 old is gonna come out, I'm right? Very old. It's gonna and, come out. And that and that mama bear and mm-hmm. all that coming out too. So we're gonna be out there, and you damn near my age too. <laughs> <laughs> I know it when I see yeah, it. Yeah, we gonna get your ass. So you, you know, no, not my daughter. Wow. Mm-hmm. Whew. Yeah. Man. I'm gonna go home and tell her, girl, you know this girl caught me old. Shit. No, I'm about to go home to eat some applesauce and. <laughs> <laughs> I'm about to go home look look for a sponge like, bath, yeah, nigga. Now, you Jesus. You made it worse because you like, I said one sentence and you ready to go to sleep. I'm <laughs> telling you. Really? Um, I, I need a nap. <laughs> <laughs> what you doing at my house at this hour? <laughs> it could be 4 o'clock in the afternoon. <laughs> It's bedtime. I'm ready to go to bed at 6 o'clock now. Jesus. <laughs> you just make it seem like you're so brittle. Like. <laughs> you did. You said 27 old. Oh, you know how much older no, I am than 27? No, that's like young old, though. In her terms. 
in their era. That's I know. I had to but it's her mouth that did that. I know. I had to say something <laughs> kind of like you lying out. But yeah, it's in her era. You don't understand how bad that bruises the ego. Like, you have no idea. <laughs> because I know I'm old. But see, when I'm around us, I don't feel that old. It's like, yeah, I know I'm old, but it's no big deal. Because the mind feels. Yeah, but then when I listen to you, you're like, yeah, that's old. It's, <laughs> that's know. young old, like but it's 60 old. 60 old, that's really old. I used to think that until today. Right. I don't think so. <laughs> really? I, no. You're going to think that too. <laughs> You're going to be like, dang, 50 years old? you like, should I look good? 60 ain't going to look no better. Like, yeah, be sometimes like, I don't even know if I'm going to make it to 50 or 60. This bitch. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Go bear, you're gonna you're gonna have to let us drink in the show. <laughs> <laughs> You know what I mean? I'm feeling a little bad over here now. Michelle Kidd and Dennis I need some tequila. I might start drinking. I ain't never had alcohol. As soon as I leave here. Jesus. Oh, man. She said 50. She's not even old enough to go to the bar, son. She's going to have me drinking. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. What a show. What a show. Bravo, ladies and gentlemen. Bravo. Oh, my age. Oh, Jesus. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I think it's about time for us to wrap it up because uh, I'm I'm craving some applesauce and my nap. So, <laughs> I think, and you know what makes it really bad? I know what I did. I don't forgot what I did. Like this past week, I done turned around and we remodeled our living room. Okay, and we, we finally finished Yeah we got the couches and everything And the wife is finishing up with the accessories It looks great You know, I, She did a great job But I think I told y'all the chair I got mm -hmm. This motherfucker here Just made me feel completely ill It's over I was so proud of the chair I'm almost embarrassed to bring it up now So I bought this chair And I nicknamed it the Ejecto Cedo Cuz It's one of those chairs that you hit the remote And it lifts you all the way up and you get out? Yeah. Yeah. I'm, now it's because I'm old. <laughs> like, it's not because I'm cool. I'm yeah, fucking yeah, old. I'm thinking about it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's why I'm playing elevator, elevator music. rising up thinking about it. Yeah, yeah. I'm up until tonight, I'm old, yeah. I've been using that motherfucker like, I've been loving it. Well, you're going to look at it different now. Oh, my God. I have had a story. I like, need you, I need you to record, record that on uh, 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 on our group, man. I gotta see that. When he getting out of the chair. Down on the video chat, I wanna see a move. Like, I'm gonna have to. But yo, I've been loving it. Like, I was so mad because the dog, my dog loves jumping up in the chair. Like, especially when I have the, the, the leg part out. So, I don't want him up in there. So, I was like, yeah, I'm gonna fix your ass. So, I lifted the chair all the way up and I got out and I left it up. So, I was like, haha, he can't get up in it. This little spider monkey motherfucking dog jumped up in it with the chair up like this, and then he clinched onto it and he's staring at me across the bed. <laughs> Cause I would have let him in the bed. And he was like, I'm in your chair, nigga. Well, what you gonna do? Let me in the bed, or I'm gonna sit in the chair, I'm gonna piss in it. Like no. But he, wow. he ain't gonna piss in it, but you know, he mm -hmm. he a boy and yeah, my little my girl dog's in heat, so he he leaving nut stains all over the fucking house right now. Oh. So I'm like, if you don't get your nasty nut nah, ass out of my chair, nah, not anymore. Not anymore. I, I I got out of the. I don't want to do this shit anymore. It's too expensive. It's too time consuming. So no more breeding uh, Frenchies. I'm I'm completely done with it. I done sold off all my breeding pairs anyway. Um, sell the sperm, man. Sell the sperm. I was thinking about it, but even then, it's you know I gotta go jack the dog off and then put it in a cup <laughs> and then mail oh, God, mail, no. mail, <laughs> mail the jack off to whoever wants it. Like uh, I ain't even got the energy to go jack the dog off. Hey, you gonna be sitting out there. It's it's so bad too. It's even worse. It's worse than it's worse than that. 
<laughs> like it's not even that, that I had to get down there and like jack the dog off. Oh, I'm about to say, you like, get down no, there. it's I'm bait and say. switch. It's bait and switch. Like the female, she goes in heat and she wants it so bad. She got her butt tooted up, and he's like, yeah. So just as he's about to get it in, I gotta pull the female away. And then I got to grab hold like my hands a vagina and he just works it. He goes to town. He's like, yeah, 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 yeah. And then I got to have a cup on the other end. It's like, swish, 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 swish. and then the red rocket comes all the way out. And then the second set of balls shoots all the way up to the front. And then he like nuts in the cup. And then he just go and just pass out. He's be laying there and he just be, he'd be a seventh heaven. Just like red rocket all the way out on the floor. Then you gotta turn around and take the cup and then put it in the, the thing and then mix up the anti-killed stuff for the sperm and pack it up in dry ice and then send it to people. But it's worth like $5,000 a pop, so. So that's why I say it. So I don't have a problem jacking the dog off for $5,000 a fucking pop. I'm stuck I was on, killing. I'm stuck on you pulling the girl away. You see what I'm saying? You see what I'm saying? It's so brutal. Cause she's sitting there like, she's sitting there like, what about me? Right. Like she got nothing out of it, nothing. At least he's oh like, oh, it's yeah, good for me. How about you? Good hand job. And she's oh. sitting there. She's sitting there like, mm-hmm. and I'm like, got a handful. Yeah, mm. with a glove, of course. I ain't sitting over there raw dogging it. I got protection. Shit. So, <laughs> yeah, but you, you ain't got a jerk either, cause he'll do it all. Like you just, as soon as you pull back, you just hold on and just look away, cause if you look, now you're a pervert. No, you're a pervert then. Know, you you put the cup down and then and then you literally you'll feel it hitting the cup. It's like skeet, 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 skeet. Okay, there's no more skeet. Okay. Wait, are you Go telling away. us this from experience? Yeah. yeah he oh, said that he wow. grabbed it. You didn't hear when he said he grabbed it? <laughs> yeah. I was yeah, I mean I was you know I was breeding Frenchies. Yeah, he's doing yeah. all that. <laughs> all right, oh shit. Down in why the why you think they crazy. cost so god dog much? Like right, Frenchies are not cheap dogs, man. And that's why. <laughs> that's why people spend ten, twenty, thirty thousand dollars. Because of the emotional damage. That's what it is. The the people get emotional damage. Cause yeah, who ain't whoever ain't doing that, they're lying. Because they're down there jerking them dogs off. That's why they cost you twenty thousand dollars for a motherfucking Frenchie. Cause the person going down there jerking off their dog and catching it in a fucking Dixie cup. Then they gotta put it in a syringe and then they inject it into the female. Because most of the dogs, the Frenchie boys, can't reach the girls. So you got to inseminate them. Or you go to a doctor and then pay $3,000 for the doctor to pull the sperm out and then put it in the female. Like, who's paying for all that? Just jerk the dog off. Right. <laughs> Great story, <guys. laughs> You know, way to end the show. <laughs> and on that note, we're going to get ready to get up out of here. Ladies and gentlemen, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. You got any questions, put them in the comments because we love to answer all the comments. As you can see, yo, did y'all see the beef we had on the thing? Or did y'all miss it? I missed it. I ain't seen it. Oh, my God. Yo, some lady in Jamaica was like losing her shit in the oh, comments. Look it, up. it was no. amazing. No, it's gone now. Like, she was a subscriber mm-hmm. and she was mad because the channel is blocked from 18 and under. Mm. Well, no, the channel's not blocked from 18 and under, but each video that's adult is blocked from 18 and under. So she started the comments talking about, well, you're, why don't you guys look out? Don't you know kids can watch this? I think I saw that. You saw the beginning of it? I saw that it? part when I didn't, I was trying to, I was gonna respond, but it was like, you know, don't you have kids? You know, that's the only yeah, another yeah, TV another TV subscriber was going back and forth with her, and I was like, and then I jumped and I was like, ma'am, uh, that subscriber doesn't speak for the channel, right. but you know, as a channel, we do do what you know YouTube says to safeguard for the kids. Like we we don't allow the video to show to eighteen and under. Right. And then she was like, yeah, but your channel's not, and I'm like. Yeah, because not every video is 18 and under. We got 18 and under videos. I mean, we got dogs on the channel. We got all types of stuff. And um, so she unsubscribed. And I guess I guess she might have blocked or whatever. Because the second she unsubscribed, that whole string of comments went away. Did, went away. Yeah, I, I was like, dang, we were killing it. It was like 45 comments <laughs> just yeah. from her. Wait, 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 what's the name of the show? Connect 360, right? That's the channel, it yeah. It was the last one of... Yeah, it was one of the last. Yeah, it's not there anymore. 
Cause it jumped from like 60 comments total down to like, I think like 17, 18, something like that. So all the comments that she was going back and forth with somebody else, like they all left. So yeah, well, I mean, you get subscribers and you lose them. I mean, that's, that's how the game works. So, but you know, as we say, fuck it all. Cause I, I, I ain't gonna start all this crying over spilled milk. I mean, it ain't gonna change us. We gonna do what we do and talk how we talk. Cause we grown folks over here, and that's what we do. So I ain't worried about that's it. Right. All right. So on that note, no other questions, comments. Okay. So officially, we gonna get ready to get out of here, ladies and gentlemen. I've been King Bear in the building. Okay. Pretty P. Jumped him again. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, do it again. Do it over. Do it over. <laughs> <laughs> Heavy duty always goes after Michelle Gay, but that's all right. But you pretty, so. Hmm. <laughs> okay. This episode has me like heavy duty cutie. You done ruined his no outro. More, no more that is. <laughs> <laughs> he crying. <laughs> you don't hurt his feelings. <laughs> and ladies and gentlemen, you have a good one. We're going to see you on the next one. Peace. Peace.